The 15 laziest dog breeds that are total couch potatoes. They might even love the sofa more than you do. Playing fetch sounds fun and all, but it's hard to beat a good snooze in the sun. These laid-back pups like to relax to the max, meaning they're perfectly content with a few walks a day, and lots of love, of course. Number 1. Bulldog? These family-friendly cuties fit the snoozing stereotype, alright? Bulldogs. Love nothing more than a good nap, but don't let their sleepiness rub off on you. All dogs, even the less active ones, require exercise to stay healthy, whether it's regular walks or play sessions. Number 2. St. Bernard? They're best known for their alpine rescues, but these days, you're a lot more likely to find St. Bernard's in the suburbs than the Swiss Alps. Their calm and patient disposition also makes the gentle giants a great and quat, nanny dog and quat, for kids. Number 3. Basset Hound? Between their stubby legs, droopy ears and wrinkled brows, Basset. Hounds have plenty of distinguishing characteristics. When they're not hunting, the skilled scent. Hounds still love to cuddle up with the family. Number 4. French Bulldog? Apartment dwellers always pick French Bulldogs for a reason. They rarely bark, hardly shed and enjoy a brisk walk around the block for exercise. What more could you want? Number 5. Pekingese. Underneath all of that fur is a charming companion who is perfectly happy without a yard. The little lap dogs did originally live in the Chinese palaces, but their modern counterparts will settle for less than royalty. Number 6. Bernese Mountain Dog? While they technically belong in the American Kennel Club's working group, Bernese Mountain Dogs are surprisingly low-key. The big fluff balls like relaxing indoors as much as they like being outside. Number 7. Chow Chow? Don't mistake their trademark scowls for bad attitudes. While somewhat Stubborn and suspicious of strangers, Chow Chows are devoted and bonded to their families. Their reserved and quiet nature actually earns frequent comparisons to cats. Number 8. Pug? Pug owners know that there's a lot of personality packed into those 15-odd pounds. The less active pups may actually share some ancestral history with the Pekingese. Number 9. Tibetan Mastiff? These giant guardians from the Himalayas will lounge around inside, but get them out and about and their more active, independent nature will show. The AKC even recommends exercising them in a contained area since they're notorious for not coming when called. Number 10. Havanese? Smart and social, Havanese love spending time with their owners. Put their upbeat personality and small stature together and you have an energetic breed that doesn't need a lot of physical activity. Number 11. Great Dane? You might even look forward to regular walks when you have a statuesque canine on the other end of the leash. Unlike some of the other big breeds, Great Danes make friends easily, and stay patient even with, much smaller, kiddos. Number 12. Newfoundland? Weighing up to 150 pounds, Newfoundland needs some room in regular 
romps, but maintain a sweet and docile disposition otherwise. The best way to get these pups to exercise is to bring them to water. They're natural swimmers. Number 13. Shih Tzu? They've been friendly house pets for hundreds of years, so it's no surprise Shih Tzus are low maintenance, minus their long, but low shedding, coats. Some owners will stick with the shorter puppy cut just for that reason. Number 14. Spinoni Italiano? While they're a relatively unknown breed, for now, Spinoni. Italiani are the rare hunting dogs that don't need a ton of exercise. After a bit of bounding in the backyard, the easygoing pups can go for some solid sofa time. Number 15. Neapolitan Mastiff? If you remember Fang from the Harry Potter movie, you'll know that these 150-pound guard dogs work as fearsome protectors. While they're lovable and low energy with their family, experts don't recommend this breed for first-time dog owners are households with children due to their defensive nature, 